this video, we are going to see IPsec details and a side-to-side -side VPN between the checkpoint firewalls. First of all, we'll try to understand what's IPsec. It's a suit of protocols in which we have IC, ESP, and AH protocols. IC is Internet Key Exchange, which has two different versions. ESP is an IP layer protocol, works with the protocol number 50, supports encryption plus hashing. AH is also IP layer protocol, which works at the protocol number 51, supports only hashing. So in a real time for a data plane, we use a ESP for a protection of our data. Okay, in IKV1, in IK, we have IKV1 and IKV2, which has two different phases. In IKV1, phase one is also called as ISACAM, and phase two is called as IPSEC. In IKV2, phase one is called as IKSA init, and phase two is called as IK auth. In a phase one of IKV1, in our lab, we are going to use IKV1, phase one, and a phase two. In IKV1, phase one has a two different modes, main mode with six message exchanges, aggressive mode with three message exchanges. And we have a quick mode with three message exchanges. So the combinations of a IKV1 could be main mode, quick mode with the nine message exchanges, which is known as a secure way of communication and a aggressive mode and a quick mode, which is unsecure way of communicating, total six message exchanges. So in our side-to-side -side VPN lab today, we are going to implement IKV1 side-to-side -side VPN. Now, this is our topology. You can see we have a checkpoint one firewall, checkpoint two firewall. These are the LAN subnets of respective firewalls. On the ISP side, currently, to, just to make a connectivity between the two sides, I have taken the same subnet with dot 11 and dot 22 IP from the same subnet. We'll make a connectivity between these two subnets. We'll have a connectivity with, within our local area networks. All right. So, first of all, I'll get into this checkpoint one PC, and I'll check the connectivity to my LAN interface, which is 10.11.11.10 IP. So I'll come to LAN PC, and I'll try to ping 10.11.11.10 UC. I have the connectivity. I'll come to uh, checkpoint two LAN PC, and I'll check the connectivity with the 10.12.12.10 IP. So let me come to a LAN 2 PC. I'll say ping 10.12.12.10. I can say I have the connectivity to a LAN interface. I'll check the connectivity between these two public IPs. So I'll come to a checkpoint one firewall. I'll log in here with the username admin password is test123. I'll try pinging 1.1.1.10. You see dot 22 as an IP, I'll try to ping dot 22 and you see I have a connectivity. So these connectivities are important before you go for a configurations. Now we are going to take a smart console through which we can access both the firewalls and we'll configure a side to side VPN. So here we have a smart console in which you can see checkpoint one and a checkpoint two, both the firewalls pre-integrated. The first step what you should do is to enable a blade on both the firewalls. So enable a IPsec blade and click on OK. The same way you have to enable the IPsec blade on both the firewalls. Click on edit. And enable the IPsec blade. And you can see the icon appearing here for the IPsec blade. Once the IPsec blade gets enabled, now we'll click on security policies. Under the security policies, you can see we have a VPN community. We'll come to a VPN community. And here we'll create a mess community. Okay. And here I'll give a VPN name as a site to site VPN and I'll add both the firewalls checkpoint one and checkpoint two and you can see you can go for an encryption for the phase one you here you have a 
choice. So I'm going with IKV1 for IK, you know, IPv4. And here for phase one default encryption algorithms, hashing algorithm, defi element group, and phase two encryption and hashing both are taken by default. So I'll use the same default credentials for phase one and phase two parameters. I'll click on okay. So you see one side to side VPN mist community is created. Further, I'll be using it in a firewall. Now we'll get back into a Checkpoint firewall one, we'll get into edit. And we'll click on IPsec VPN. Okay, under the IPsec, you, you can see we have link. You have this interface. Again, we can go get into a network management. Now, in, under the network management, you see we have a VPN domain. So let's get started from here. Under the VPN domain, we'll select the private IP. So here, I'll create an object for my private IP. So my private subnet is a LAN subnet, or you say, or you can say like CP1 LAN. My subnet is 10.11.11.0 with slash value 24. And I'll say OK. And I'll select my LAN subnet over here manually. And I'll select my public IP. Click on the VPN link and select the IP address, my public IP, right? And click on okay. Say yes. After that, we'll come back to a checkpoint firewall to enable the same thing. Here, first of all, we'll go to our network management. We'll go to VPN domains. We'll specify what's our private IP. So I'll create a new object. I'll say, it's my CP2 LAN and the subnet is 10.12.12.0 slash 24 with net mask 24. Sorry, here it's zero. So I'll say, okay. And after that, I'll come to IPsec. Under the IPsec, I'll come to link section. Okay, sorry, I didn't define. I need to select here my CP2 LAN subnet. Now let's come back under the IPsec and select your public IP and click on okay. Now we'll get into policies. Under the policies, we'll click on policy. And we are going to create one policy at the top. That's for our uh, site to site. Site to site between CP1 and CP2. So my source through our tunnel can be a checkpoint one LAN subnet to a checkpoint two LAN subnet. The same thing destination could be a checkpoint two subnet or it could be a checkpoint one LAN subnet. And for a VPN, I can select a community. So right click on it, specify a VPN community, which I created manually, and then give an action as a accept. And I'll enable a log. I'll deploy the policy on both the firewalls. And I'll deploy a rule. So I'll say install policy, publish. So it's taking a little bit time to publish the information. All right, now click on install and make the changes. So let the policy get deployed. It's in progress. 
should complete 100%. 50% done, waiting for 100%. It might take some time to complete your policy 100%. If policy is deployed successfully, then only we'll have a connectivity. So taking some time, we'll wait until our policy gets deployed 100%. Initially, while deploying, it takes time. 75% done, 99% done, almost getting done. So now it's time for testing. We'll come to our LAN PC. So according to topology, I'll come to this LAN PC and I'll try the testing, reaching out the other side's LAN PC and we'll check our logs getting generated. So I'll come to our LAN PC. You can see this is my LAN PC and we'll check the connectivity. We'll try pinging 10.0. 12.12.6 and we'll see. Yes, we are able to ping, we see. We can reach, we have created the site to site VPN successfully. Now we can verify our logs. So click on this particular policy and click on refresh. So you can see there is a site to site VPN. You know, UC community is encrypted, encrypted in a community. You can see a site to site VPN getting created and the action was encrypted. And the rule which was triggered was a side-to-side -side VPN through which your policy got allowed VPN between the side-to-side -side VPNs. So these were, the proto uh, these were the algorithms which were applied for the data encryption for the side-to-side -side VPN. And the encryption was implemented between this source and the other side destination. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.